Well, hello there, all your property preservation maniacs. It's Chuck Taylor with the Taylor Shop coming at you again with another vlog. This week, I'm talking about a pretty basic topic: reporting bids and damages. Um, yeah, it's pretty common and it's something you must do, but we see a lot of guys not doing it correctly, and we have just a few quick little ideas and and, and ways to you know that can help you um, understand proper bidding and why we at the Taylor Shop provide the best you know comprehensive bids because we know what we're looking at and we know what the clients want and how to bid things um, so you know okay bids and damages is there a difference absolutely the 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 bidding issues the issues that you're going to submit bids for are generally the preservation issues um, issues that are causing damage to the property or could potentially cause damage to the property um, those are issues you must bid you must provide a bid for the damaged fascia, gutters, siding, um, you know, trees touching the house, shrubs touching the house, anything at all that could potentially cause damage. Maybe a hole in the yard, that's a trip hazard, uh, a damaged deck, uh, rotten steps, anything at all that could potentially be a, a safety hazard, a trip hazard, or potentially cause future damage to a property. These are all issues that need to be bid. Uh, and you, you, it sounds pretty simple, right? It sounds basic, but you'd be surprised on how many orders we submit and how many orders we see, or I should say how many orders we see, that we catch a tremendous amount of potential bids in the photos before we submit it, um, that we submit bids for. Um, you know, I've said it before, but we save contractors hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in missed bids and missed bidding opportunities that we see in the photos um, which is another great reason for utilizing the tailor shop because of our high standards of quality control now you know the way we look at it is sure okay you gotta submit your bids for your preservation issues your your pertinent issues now when it comes to damages you know damages now the big four for me are you know roof mold water uh, and structural so you know, those obviously have to be reported and also bid on, but those fall more into the line of a damage category, in which case you're going to report them as a damage, but you're generally going to report, uh, also report a bid to remedy the situation because, again, that's causing, dam you know, that's causing damage to the property potentially, and it's issues that need to be, you know, remedied or rectified. So, you know, when it comes to, say, you know, structural damage, okay, foundation cracks and, um, you know, basement water seepage and stuff like that. If you're in an area that does have basements, you're going to run across these issues. Now, most contractors that I work with and have worked with in, over the last 14 years aren't, you know, foundation engineers. However, you can submit a bid to dry lock the basement which by no means is going to correct the issue. It might prevent some of the water seepage, maybe temporarily. However, you know, that's unfortunately what, you know, FHA wants. And FHA um, loans and, and, and a lot of the banks want you to provide a bid to, you know, just, um, you, know, pr uh, you know, dry lock it. But in turn, you also want to report that because it is a structural issue. Um, and it's generally beyond the scope of most contractors. So you're also going to report that as a structural uh, damage and that a structural engineer needs to look at it and provide a bid to, to remedy it. Um, they have a lot, there's a lot of, you know, licensed companies out there that specialize in, you know, fixing basements and, you know, leaks and, and cracks and foundations and stuff like that. That's not your typical uh, property preservation contractor uh, repair. Not the typical, but you will come across it. You know, obviously mold damage, you're going to, you know, bleach clean and kills paint. Water damage, you're going to, you know, basically kills paint. Now roofs, obviously, you're providing a bid to repair. We're not, you know, tarping is an issue, but most banks and clients don't really necessarily want to tarp. They want you to repair it. They want you to repair it, and most clients and banks will give you an allowable. You'll have an allowable on your initial visit to handle up to a certain amount the uh, you know whatever the issue is so you know of course taking advantage of allowables is, imp is imperative but understanding reporting damages and bids now I just gave you a quick uh, overview of, of basically what 
what they are. Now, of course, there's other, there's many kinds of damages. There's mortgage or neglect. There's, you know, environmental. There's, um, you know, uh, natural, you know, uh, tree falling, storm damage, stuff like that. Uh, mold, mold, water. Uh, roof and structural are the, the, the big four for me, for us, you know. Okay, so when you're reporting them, how are you guys reporting them? Well, unfortunately, we see a lot of misreporting, or should I say, providing lack of details. And the three words I want you to understand is what we expect here at the tailor shop is very simple and very standard. Details, dimension, and cause, period. Now, the cause factor generally falls into play when it's you're reporting a damage. You know, for example, mold, water, roof. What was the cause of the damage? You know, mold, sure. Moisture and humidity, that's pretty standard, a, a pretty generic description. However, there could be a more outlying issue, um, say, you know, from a previous roof leak or an active roof leak. Maybe the mold is under a window, and the window needs to be sealed because water is getting in and creating mold and water damage. So, you, you know, not only do you need to bid to, to remedy the water damage or mold, but you need to bid to handle the cost, take care of the cause, what's causing it. Um, you know, so that's, that's what we mean by details, dimension, and cause. When you're providing bids, when you're providing a damage or damage report, the, the three, the only three things you need to provide is details, dimension, and cause. Now, this is what's this is very simple, but you'd be surprised on how many uh, guys out there don't report these issues. So, when it comes to processing the order, it makes it very difficult because we don't make any assumptions out there, right? Because this is not an assumption industry. We don't make assumptions. We don't want to guess to what's going on. We want to know exactly what's going on. That's how we can be efficient in our reporting and our processing. So, details, dimension, and cause is is critical reporting when you're reporting not only bids but damages as well so if you have but and, and it's it's as simple as and it may seem some guys say oh my guys in the field you know they you know they don't like taking notes and they don't like writing down uh you know details and they don't like doing all this stuff well you know for one they're covering your butt um by reporting it and themselves and again you know i use this is the this is the best example i use if uh if a guy does say there's trees on a house, say there's, you know, I, I'm looking at photos and I see four trees on a house. Well, I'm going to submit a bid to trim four trees off the house, you know, put in my cubic yards, man hours, and all my extra verbiage. And say you get the approval. And say you have a sub. And he comes back and says, you know, hey, uh, there was ten trees on the house. But he just didn't take a very good photo and show that. And all we saw was four trees. Well, you're, you're lucky you got the approval such as it was because you didn't report anything at all. So that's what's imperative about details. And that would be bidding 10 trees versus 4 trees would be a significant difference in a bid. So we can only bid what we can see. If the guy doesn't take a great photo, then that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's an issue, of course. But, you know, that's why it's imperative. Details, dimension, and cause. Because if they say... Uh, trim, oh yeah, no, and, and, and for us, for the tailor shop, all you got to tell us is how many trees. You're not trimming a tree 75 feet off a house. You're generally trimming it 5 to 10 feet off the house, depending on how big it is, where it's located, and stuff like that. So all we need to know is how many trees we need to trim off the house. And if you want to give the extra, is it a two-story house, is it a one-story house? Now, we'll be able to determine that from the photos, but if there is a height uh, concern or if there's a height issue, you could throw that in as well. But for the most part, we need to know how many trees. Fascia, you know, soffit, fascia, siding, just dimensions, details. What are you going to do? What kind of siding? Vinyl, you know, aluminum. What are you going to put on there? Wood. Uh, that's, you know, it's that simple. And rotten fascia, you know, simple. You can just say 10 feet of rotten fascia. House. That's it. Simple. You know, and that's and, and then you could formulate a bid and put the proper verbiage in based on that. At least we can. I don't know about all these other operations out there that are pretending and trying to do what the tailor shop does. And believe me, I'm finding out more and more that there's a lot of them out there. But that's all we need to formulate a proper bid is the details, dimension, and cause. You know, uh, and with the details means location. When you're talking interior issues, when you're talking mold and water damage, 
location. I need to know if it's on the first floor or the second floor because if it's on the first floor, it was probably uh, a, a you know plumbing issue, whether it's active or, or um, non-active. Or if it's on the second floor, it's most likely a roof leak, whether it's active or not. But we don't know, and we're not making any assumptions. So that's why it's imperative. Details, dimensions, and cause people. It's that simple. Now, how does the tailor shop use this information? Well, obviously, I've, I've kind of it's it's pretty self-explanatory. If you provide those details, we'll be able to formulate a proper bid. It's just that simple. So that's that's pretty kind of what I want to leave you guys with is is when you're working with the tailor shop, we keep things simple. We try not to complicate things for guys in the field. Not only do we do that, but we also even provide client-specific forms. We have created client-specific forms, whether you got MCS, LPS, Safeguard, MSI, whatever, m and &M, NFR. You know, if you don't already use in forms or client-specific forms, we offer client-specific forms to make it easier for guys in the field. We couldn't make it much simpler unless we actually went out in the field and did it ourselves, which, you know, <laughs> which we, we've done. We've been in the field, so we understand what the requirements are. We understand what the basics are. So this is why it's imperative. So, yeah, we do offer forms to help guys. Um, we can help explain proper bidding. I do conference calls with contractors and their subs, explain to them very eloquently and very detailed about the how you provide proper details, dimension, and cause when reporting issues on a property preservation property. Simple. And it makes it'll make the contractor's job in the field easier because he'll get it right the first time. Then it'll make the processing company's job, the tailor shop's job, a lot easier because we won't have to send the order back asking for additional information because you'll already know what you need to provide. Simple. Details, dimension, and cause. I know it sound, I sound like a broken record, but sometimes repetition works. And when you're working with the tailor shop, we ask for basics. We ask for you to provide those those three basics when it coming when it comes to details, dimension, and, or when it comes to I'm sorry, bidding. Um, you know, providing bids and damages, because we're going to formulate a proper bid. Are we going to assume anything? No. Are we going to fabricate anything? No. The photos should correlate exactly with the bid. That's it. Very simple. Your client's going to be happy because they're going to get all the information correctly. They're going to get a competitive bid. They're going to get a proper details, proper verbiage. And you're going to get more bid approvals. And you're going to get higher bid approvals because you're putting proper verbiage in. You're actually getting the tape measure out, measuring the area, providing an accurate, detailed assessment of that situation, whatever it is. And then us, the updaters, are going to provide that report and put that information in the update and send it to your client. It's that simple. Um, so I don't. Want, I didn't want to make this video too long, um, but again, this is a this is a very important issue. I mean, if you're misreporting properties, you're talking chargebacks, free work. I don't even have to go into it. You already know. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bore you with the the horrors of misreporting a property because if you've been in this business for any length of time, you already know what it is. So it's imperative. And this is what the tailor shop does. Not only does the tailor shop process work orders, we help contractors become more efficient. We help contractors become more profitable. So if you're looking to become more efficient, more profitable, and streamline your operation, then give tailor shop a call, and we'll help work with you to get to re, help you reach your goals. If that's what you're looking for, which most are, but you know you may think you're organized. We'll help you make sure that you're organized. It's just that simple. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please uh, send them through our website, comment on this video. Uh, please like and share this video. Um, again, I'm going to leave you with the last three words, details, dimension, and cause when it comes to bidding and reporting damages. Thanks, guys, and I hope you're looking forward to our next video. Have a great day.